I sometimes forget, and it's happened to me a number of times, and it's stupid that I will forget this, but sometimes I'll forget what gay pride, what LGBT pride is supposed to be about. Gay pride is about being proud that our community has come as far as it has. Proud that we can show our faces and acknowledge what we are, or part of what we are, and not get beat up for it anymore. We used to not be able to do that. We used to have to worry quite a bit. You know, it's this notion that collectively we've had to go through a lot. And it's a reminder that no matter how much people try to push us down, that you know, most of us are good people. I'm not going to say all of us, obviously, because there are good and bad people in every, every demographic, so... But yeah, I seem to forget this sometimes. Sometimes I need to be reminded of it. Sometimes I end up treating it the same as if there was some sort of a straight pride sort of thing. It's not really the same. I've taken note about how angry people in the community get, people in the LGBT community get, when straight people try to declare that they want a straight pride sort of thing. Well, they get angry because straight people generally haven't had to go through the types of things that gay people have historically went through. There's not some major thing that they've had to overcome. You know, there's, there's no struggle that they've had to overcome. I mean, if you say otherwise, then tell me, what, what kind of struggles have straight white guys had to overcome that they can be proud that they've overcome? Not something that anyone has had to overcome. I'm saying something that specifically straight white guys have had to overcome. No, not, I'm not talking about things you personally have overcome. I'm talking about white straight guys as a demographic. What collectively had they had to overcome? Now, this is not to say that I have anything against white people wanting to take pride in their race, whatever. You know, if that makes you feel good, fine. Now, not everyone agrees with me on that, but hey, you know, I'm like, hey, li live and let live, you know? But it's not the same thing as LGBT pride. It's not the same thing as when people say black pride. In most cases, there are some cases where there are some black nationalists, black supremacists, and yes, then, then in that case, it would, it would often be the same as what one would normally associate with white pride. It's, it's the same kind of thinking. You know, if that's what you want and you're not treating people like shit, you know, you can have your beliefs. Just don't try to drag me into it, you know? But what have straight white guys had to go through that they've had to overcome that they would never have even ran into a problem if they weren't straight white guys? Now, maybe the issue people are having, and myself included occasionally, like I said, I, I occasionally have to be reminded again, hey, um, this is what... LGBT pride is, you know, maybe we shouldn't call it pride. Maybe we should call it something else. Should it be labeled as a celebration or an affirmation instead? You know, should it, should it be something like that instead of pride? Essentially, straight people demanding that they want to be able to take pride in being straight, it's, it's kind of a symbol that you want to be victims of something without actually having been victims of something. You want to claim to be a victim simply because you're not included in the people that, historically, have had to go through a lot and still get negative attitudes towards them. I mean, it's not like we've completely conquered homophobia, just like we haven't conquered racism. I'm not saying that uh, the, the base of this country is based off of homophobia or the base of it is racism. You know, the, the base of what it is now is racism or homophobia. But there are definitely still remnants of this sort of thing left. How do we tackle that? Now we can say, oh, well, you shouldn't really worry about it anymore. You've got your rights, so stop worrying. Well, I don't think you'd be singing the same tune if you, as a demographic we're having to deal with the types of things that some of the other demographics deal with. It's, it's not, uh, and again, it's, it's nothing like what we had to put up with in the past. Nothing like it. You know, things are, are better for LGBT than they ever have in this country. 
Things are better for black people than they ever have been in this country. Things are better for women than they ever have been in this country. So don't, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm not going to, to claim that the things that we've come so far in uh, haven't been significant because we've, we've come a long way. But that's some of the reason to be proud is that we've come this far, that we've come this long way. But do you think that we just need to change the language and then it might make people not so apprehensive towards it? Or do you think that when huge strides have been made for acceptance of a community, that they should stop any sort of pride thing at that point? You know, well, once you have what you want, then, then don't, uh, don't celebrate it. Is that it? I don't know. Leave me some comments. Uh, t tell me what you think about this.